Veggie and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY perfume spray fragrance spritz kind of thing. Obviously all chemical free, all natural, all good for you and I would like to thank Anisha for giving me the suggestion for this video. She commented on last week's video so if you guys have any suggestions for future video ideas just leave them in the comments down below and I'll get to it. So let's talk a little bit about perfume and fragrance first. So animal scents and secretions have been prized throughout history and they are seen as a delicacy, they're very expensive and they are very much still used in colognes, perfumes and fragrances. Every time you spray yourself with perfume or fragrance, not only are you allowing a chemical shitstorm to get absorbed into your blood, but you are also exposing your body to animal secretions. Nasty. Apparently at full strength, these scents and secretions are nauseating to most people, but upon dilution, they smell a little bit better and for some reason that makes it okay to use secretions from an animal in perfume. Like people say that that stuff smells beautiful when it's diluted. I don't know how anything can be beautiful knowing that it's been like stolen from an animal and once smelt nauseating. Doesn't make sense. To achieve these scents, the animals are actually brutally tortured and killed. For example, you have things like musk, which is taken from a mature musk deer. This scent is stored in a hairy little pouch the size of a golf ball in front of the deer's Penis. I really don't want to say that word. My parents watch my videos every week. Hi mum, hi dad. That hairy little gland is then chopped up into small pieces and left in high strength alcohol to kind of ferment for a few months and apparently that gives off a really sweet, elegant smell. Another scent that is used is called civet, which is taken from the civet animal, which kind of looks like a cat. This musk is a buttery yellow kind of paste which goes darker with age and apparently at full strength, this one smells like fecal matter, but when it's diluted, it smells floral. The paste is produced by male and female civets in their perineal glands, which is a pair of glands located near their anus. Can you tell I'm really awkward saying these words on camera? I'm trying really hard not to be awkward. Castorium is another secretion which is produced by beavers in their castor sac, and that sac is located near the base of their tail, basically near their butt again, and it gives off a leathery kind of smell. There are many other cool ingredients that are used in perfumes, but these are the most common, and they're used by brands such as Chanel, Lancome, Govinci, and I think Estee Lauder as well. Fragrances are kind of a double threat because not only do they contain stolen secretions from animals but they also contain toxic ingredients and preservatives so why not just make your own because it's easy it's a lot cheaper than buying perfume and you won't be contributing to the suffering of other living beings and you won't be poisoning yourself with these nasty ingredients it's a win-win situation before I show you this recipe I need you guys to understand that this does smell different to synthetic perfumes because it's not the same, it's natural. Of course it's gonna smell different. The smell won't linger for hours and hours and hours and hours on end, and it'll probably take time for your smell to adjust to this kind of thing if you're used to smelling synthetic fragrances all the time, but give yourself time to adjust. It won't happen overnight, but it's so worth it. Don't knock it till you've tried it. So to make your very own natural chemical free perfume, you're gonna need one cup of water and eight to 10 drops of essential oil. I always use either lavender or frankincense essential oil, but if you're looking for a little bit more of a relaxing scent, I'd say use about about four or five drops of lavender and mix that with four or five drops of calomel. Mix your water and essential oils in a bowl, put it in a spray bottle, give it a little shake and that's literally it. I find it a bit crazy how simple this DIY is. You can spray it on clothes, fabric, on your hair, you can literally spray it anywhere because it's chemical free, so go wild. make sure you leave it in a cool or dry place. I literally left mine in a drawer in my bedroom um, and it's been fine for like four months, like it still smells great. I love it. In the summer it might be a good idea to leave this in the fridge if it gets super hot. Also that would be quite nice if it was quite cold and you spray it on yourself, give you like a fresh kind of feeling as well as smelling lovely. Sometimes when I've whacked this out in public people are like, oh my god Jez, you're taking it a little bit too far now with your fragrance, like it's just perfume. And it's actually quite funny because then they proceed to spray themselves with a perfume that uses the secretions from an animal's anus gland. But apparently essential oils and water is taking it too far. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a super simple DIY. I absolutely love this one. I carry this everywhere with me, genuinely. I don't carry anything in my bag except for my wallet and my keys, but this actually goes everywhere with me. It just smells so 
yummy if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it genuinely really helps me because I know what kind of content you guys like and I can continue to kind of produce that stuff so give it a thumbs up if you like it but if you disliked it obviously give it a thumbs down comment down below let me know what other DIYs or videos in general you want to see in the coming weeks and I will do it for you guys you know this I got you if you like this video be sure to check out my last DIY where I showed you guys how to make deodorant from scratch it's chemical free vegan all of that good stuff and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video